Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to Sunday Morning Shred. I'm your host, Mark Murray. This is the show where you wake up Sunday morning, you grab your coffee, your tea, whatever you like to wake up with on a Sunday, you head over to YouTube, and I'm here waiting to talk guitars with you. We do this every Sunday. We have some type of guitar-related content for you. And this week, I'm doing some axe hunting, but we're gonna be doing it a little different than normal. This week, I actually got a $150 gift certificate to Guitar Center from uh, my brother-in-law. Came out, visited us, and showered our kids with gifts. Brought us a $150 gift card, and you know, I got everything I need. I got 100 guitars, I've got amps and picks, and I've got you know sponsors for strings and pedals and all that kind of stuff, so I'm pretty well taken care of with that kind of stuff, but what I don't have is enough guitars to work on. Now, if you watch the channel a lot, you know that's not true. You know I have a ton of guitars to work on, but that's what I want to do with this gift card today. I want to go on Guitar Center's website, look around at the guitars they have for sale, and find out what can we get for 150 bucks. Can I get one guitar project that I can rebuild and then either flip or give away or something? Could I get two guitars, maybe around 70 bucks a piece, rebuild those, maybe give one away, flip one? I'm not really exactly sure what I'm going to do with these, but I figured this is a good little um, investment into the business, is to reuse this to get some content and get some guitars that probably going to end up giving at least one of them away and then selling one of them as a totally awesome custom rebuild. Even the one I give away, I'm probably gonna rebuild and put a sick paint job on it and make it awesome for somebody. So we're gonna go head over to guitarcenter.com, look at the used section, and you're gonna get a look and browse through all these used guitars with me, and I'll show you what I'm looking at and what I'm looking for when I buy used guitars for potential projects. So let's head over to the computer right now. Let's get looking. Okay, so now that we're here, I do want to take a second and let you guys know, if you go to guitarguts.com, check this out. There's a guitars for sale link right here at the top. You click that and it brings up the Guitar Guts store. Here on the Guitar Guts store, we got the Guitar Guts coasters, we got the Kill Boost, my signature pedal, my signature GG branded Guitar Guts kill switches, of course, the Guitar Guts koozie, my custom signature picks made by Iron Age Guitar Accessories, we got sticker packs. We even have a couple of guitars here for sale right now. A couple awesome Jacksons. And we got the Sunday Morning Shred shirt. You can see I'm rocking it right now. Got the Sunday Morning Shred shirt. We even got baby onesies. So this is something, a couple new things I've added to the website in the last week or so. And if you know, I'm a father. I have a two-year-old son. I have a 10-year-old daughter. And when I was, when the baby was born, I was looking for cool clothes for the baby. I didn't see any cool guitar shirts or guitar related shirts. So I decided to make some. I bought a t-shirt press recently and I've been making t-shirts. I actually make these ones here in the Guitar Guts shop. We got the, all the equipment set up and I got some onesies. So I designed these things. You can see we got the rock star with the flying V and it's got a star around it. We got the uh, the rock on my friends. I always say rock on my friends at the end of each episode. So we throw that on a shirt for for the kiddos. And then we got Shredder in the making with the Flying V. So if you have a young baby or one of your friends who's a musician, you know they're going to be expecting a baby. Go check it out. We got all the different baby sizes on there. I'm actually really excited about those. I think that's really cool. So go head over to guitarguts.com. Pick something up, of course. It helps support the channel, helps support all the videos I do. And also, if you want to support even more, you can sign up to the Patreon, which is 10 bucks a month. You get exclusive content, and uh, you get access to the, the Guitar Guts Discord, and you get entered into the monthly, or every few months, I do a guitar raffle. So, I actually got one that's planned out. I'm going to be making an announcement very soon about the next guitar I'm going to be giving away. Super awesome. If you're a Patreon member or even a YouTube um, Guitar Guts member, which is 5 bucks a month, you don't get all the perks of the Patreon, but you do get all the exclusive videos that I do just for Patreon. You get just the videos over on YouTube. And yeah, I've made an announcement already about one of the guitars that I've been planning on doing. It's going to happen. So uh, it's a really, really cool variation on a Frankenstrat. And I've been releasing um, this series. It's the OLP MM1 that I've been working on. Actually, I'm, yeah, you can't see it. It's hanging up right next to me. It's, it's finished up now. But it's, a, I think, a three or four part mini series that was just exclusive content for the, the premium members, the paying members. So you're going to see the guitar pretty soon. But if you want to watch the OLP MM1 mini series, go sign up. You'll get to watch all that and um, see me rebuild this guitar into something really unique. It's a Frankenstrat or Frankenstrat type of paint job. 
that I've never seen anyone else do. So I'm sure we're going to have all the copycats coming out of the woodworks here soon. But I think this might be the first of its kind. So if you want to see what, a little preview of that guitar and also about the guitar that's going to be in the next giveaway, go sign up and watch those OLP MM1 videos. So here we have guitar, gets, or guitar Center com, and um, you know I don't know if you guys know, but they have a ton of used guitars on here for sale. So right up at the top, if you go to shop, and you come down here to used and vintage, shop all used and vintage. You actually will go to guitars. So we know we will. I want guitars here. They've got what is it? Thirteen thousand five hundred and thirty-four matches. So there's a ton of guitars up there, used guitars that people trade in. You know, if you go into the physical stores, you can see they have a small used section, but here on the website, you can order the used guitars from all across the country and have them shipped to you, which is really cool. This is, I get people to, that send me links to some of the guitars that they see on here sometimes, and there's some great deals I've seen on here. So that's where we're going to be spending the $150. What we're going to do is filter this down because right now 13,000 guitars is way too many to choose from. If I had it my way, we'd buy them all, <laughs> but we're not doing that today. So let's go, let's first uh, check. Over here on the side, we ch chose guitars. Used electric guitars, we're gonna choose that. There's still 9,000 to choose from, that's too many. So let's sort it by lowest to highest price. That's gonna help really dial this in. This is all electric guitars now, and it's starting with the cheapest. I mean, they got one here that's 50 bucks. That's a used mini Squire Strat. Those are cool guitars. I mean, you can get three guitars if I go with that, something in that price range. That's the cheapest one on here though. There's not, I couldn't, there aren't three guitars for 50 bucks on here. So, you know, that's that's something I'd consider right there actually. I mean, I would be totally down to get that that for a kid, do the do a giveaway with that one, give it a cool paint job and maybe uh, Frankenstrat it up. My, my daughter has one of those guitars. It's a great candidate. I put in a clear pick guard and uh, I, I actually rearranged the pickup so it uh, it's wired up instead of three single coils with the HS setup. Really cool custom polka dot paint job I did on it. And yeah, so that's definitely a candidate I'm looking at. There's a lot of like lower end and things that are below my standard on here, I noticed. Like I used Ion Strat. This one right here, $59.99. I don't know what an Ion is. If you guys see something on here that you think someone needs to grab here in the Guitar Guts audience, leave it in the comments. If, oh man, you scrolled right past the blah, 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 blah. Leave it in the comments. Let someone find it that's part of this community because it'd be so cool if we could all kind of keep an eye out for each other on good deals, help each other out. And yeah, I'm going to skip over the, the Ion. We got a, a Washburn Lion. I've actually had experience with those. They're pretty cheap, low-end, Strat-like guitars. So I'll, I would stick away, stay away from that. Same with this Rogue. I've never really had personal experience with Rogues, but they've always seemed like they're really cheap guitars. Here though, there's a PV Rockmaster, and I actually rebuilt one of these on Trash to Thrash. It was a guitar I don't really, personally, I've never owned one, but after what I did to it, it was a sick guitar. So we're gonna go ahead and add that. You can see I've got, oh, you can't see. I've got some open tabs here at the top, and I'm gonna kinda tab some of the guitars as we go along. So we got a couple in the open tabs already. Let's see what else. We got the Rogue. Ibanez GRG uh, 2, is that a 0Z? 20Z Geo, solid body electric guitar. Okay, I'm curious about that one. It's actually here in California. We'll tab that one. I'm interested in that. Got another mini strap. What do we got? Let's check out that mini strap. Make sure it's not completely trash before we leave that because if I find another one, maybe we'll add another one into the tabs. It says fair condition. I mean, we just got three pictures here. Okay, so there's something on the pick guard. It looks like something, somebody maybe signed it or put a sticker on it or kind of messed it up. I could see some damage to the body. What do we see on the back? They, they got such high contrast on this photo here. I can't tell the condition too well. I'm gonna go ahead and skip past that one. I don't wanna deal with what I, you know, something I can't tell the condition well. This one says used good condition. So for the, uh, oh, this is, okay. So some Rockmasters I could actually see here. Can we zoom in on this? It's got a tuner built into the, the upper horn there. That could be good for a beginner, built-in tuner in the guitar. 
here is that Geo. These Geos are half decent. Uh, they've been around forever. One of my buddies used to have one. That's a half decent guitar. Look at this, a Squire Bullet. Those are decent. I actually have owned a couple different Squire Bullets. None like this one. I've never had an HH model. But for $74, this is a full-size electric. That might be worth it. Dual humbucker, it's got a hard tail, so not non-trem. Great for a beginner. Squire bullet. Bullets, I think, are the cheapest that they make. So those three, are actually, already, I'm seeing a couple that I would go with. The Ibanez Micros. Those are smaller. It's like a kind of like the Strat Minis. These are cool. It's a hard tail as well. Dual humbucker. Look at that little mini shredder. That thing's cool. We're definitely going to have have to maybe consider that one. We've got Brownsville. They've been around a long time. I'm not necessarily drawn to them. We've got another Squire Bullet here. A used 2010's Zenny S style. Never heard of that. we got the Esteban here. <laughs> Remember those commercials? we got a Starcaster. I've heard from a lot of people, stay away from the Starcasters. They're worse than a Squire Bullet. Maybe they're right there with the bullets. Maybe they're worse. I don't know. I've never used one, so I'm going to stay away from that. I want to, you know, something that I've actually had a little experience with, at least, like the Rockmaster. I've had experience with that. The Mini Fender Strat. Those are pretty good. I've had experience with that. I used a Legacy Double Cut. First Act. I know First Act is pretty low on the, on the totem pole of guitars, so going to stay away from the First Act as well. I'm pretty sure that might be like a Walmart you know, you can buy them in Walmart, so. Another Starcaster over here. We got a Firebrand strap. We got to take a look at that at least. That's a cool name, Firebrand. Is it supposed to be Firebird? No, it's Fire. What does that say on the headstock? Yeah, Firebrand. I don't know Firebrand. LTD EC10. Now we're getting into the kind of guitars that I like. So we're definitely going to check that one out in a second. We got a PV Raptor. I don't really know the Raptors too well. I remember them. They were always around. Weird logo on the headstock for that one. I think that that would be better than a Rockmaster, the Raptor. $85. At 85 bucks though, we're going to be... I mean, I'll go over the limit of 150 I'm down with that, but I don't want to, you know get too high over it. I kind of want to stick within that budget a little bit. Yeah, Firebrand, you got to go. We don't want you. I don't think we want to spend extra on the Raptor. I don't really know those things, so. The, the EC10, though, that's interesting to me. Let's check that out. If, as long as it's not trash, that's something that, that's something I can rebuild and actually sell into something really cool. I think I could do my magic, work some magic, put a uh, kill switch in that, and work, work on the frets a little bit, put some better pickups in it. Looks like it's been a little trash, but nothing horrible. Hmm. Made in China. I mean, you know, I wouldn't want to play it personally. I have some really nice guitars, so Korea is where I draw the line. It's got to be a Korean LTD, but might be able to, to make this into something cool. I mean, for whatever, 80 bucks, what do you expect? You know, it's not going to be, we're not going to find gold here. Let's see, what was the cheapest one we found so far? 75, we got 73. It was one of those uh, those cheap Squires. I think there was one for $60. So, I mean, if we wanted to stay within the budget, 80 bucks and 60, I mean, we'd still be right around the $150 mark. That would work. Epiphone Les Paul Special 2s. Those are decent, too. I've rebuilt a bunch. Actually, when I was in a band, I owned one of those, and I put EMGs in it, and it was a pretty good guitar, so... That might be, you know, let's go all the way up. To, I might end up just buying one guitar. If we find something super awesome for 150 maybe 170 I'll pick that up. But, oh, this bullet here has black hardware. Let's see. Oh, page does not exist. I wonder what's up with that. Maybe it's sold. We got a lefty here. What is this? Just called a used Mark II double cut. First act. We got a court over here. Court, actually, they make some pretty good guitars. So let's check this thing out. The Strat type. Yeah, I don't know this specific one, so I'm gonna stay away from that one. But yeah, for under a hundred bucks, look how many different choices they have. Look at this one, the Les Paul Junior Solid Body, 
single humbucker, that could be a metal machine right there. Squire Affinity, we got the mini strat, mini strat, a couple, bunch of mini strats. People are trading those things in left and right. I wonder what Guitar Center pays for something like that. When they take that in on a trade-in or when they buy that from a customer, how much credit do you think they're giving somebody for a guitar that they sell for $80? Half? You think they're giving them 40 bucks? Oh, if you work at Guitar Center, let us know in the comments. Give us the inside scoop. You could stay anonymous if you want, but I would love to know that. Look at this weird guitar. This would be really interesting because I've never rebuilt one of these before. It's a Bullet Mustang HH. Oh, no, it's not there? Oh, come on. Oh, that one's interesting. Hmm. Okay, I guess we don't get that one. That would have been cool. We got a Behringer. I didn't know Behringer made guitars. We got a Davison, Laguna, a Johnson. Lots of uh, low no-names. Ooh, $100 for an Ibanez Geo Lefty. That's pretty cool. What is this, a Harmony right here? We got a Silvertone, the Epiphone, another single humbucker, but this one's got a pick guard. I like the other one without the pick guard better. Let's check out, where'd that one go? There it is. Nope, that one's got a pick guard. There it is, right here. Yeah, we got to earmark that one. We might have to come back to that one. I like the look of the Davison, but I don't know the quality of this thing. I don't want to be stuck with some piece of junk. 20 fret guitar. Oh, no, that's tw that's 22. <laughs> Yeah, no Davison for us, but let's keep searching here. Got a Samick. Samick makes good stuff too, but I don't know these. Ooh, 100 bucks for a LTD Eclipse Quilted Maple. But there's no pictures. Image coming soon. How? Hmm. I want to check out that one, but if without pictures, I mean, I don't want to buy something that's junk. I mean, it's possible I could return it. Whoa, what, what is that? Ibanez right here. Reverse headstock, the JBM 10FX. Oh, 630 bucks, that's why. So what happened? Where's our uh, cheap prices again? Newest first, it it just changed. Okay, it just changed to uh, show us any guitars, I guess. Let's go low to high again, and let's go to page three. That's where we were. Okay, so that's a nice Epiphone Les Paul right here, $100. Oh, what is that? Broken links. I wonder if that means they sold. Dang. Okay, this thing's got like custom pickups and stuff. That's a sweet guitar. It might be bare knuckle pickups. It doesn't even say, does it? Yeah, no no real description, but 650 that's way out of our price range for today. PV Predator over here. So we're getting into some more PVs. Sonata, what do we got? The Geo AX left-handed though. The micro bass right there for 104. Dang, these are cheap. 100 bucks. If, you, if I had a thousand bucks, that would be nice. Just come through and grab like nine of these things at the hundred. Oh, Jackson. So that's a minion. It's a mini Jackson. That's cool still, but 115 bucks. That's gonna leave us with like 35 dollars. I could buy a bunch of strings and accessories and stuff like that and picks and give those away, so maybe maybe that's what I do. We, we gotta maybe come back to this Jackson because this is a pretty sweet little guitar. 115 bucks. That's sweet, dude. That'd be cool. I don't, I don't even know if I'd refinish that. If I got it like that, I might even just give it away like that because that thing is pretty sweet. Squire Bullet, Lion by Washburn, those are no good. Epiphone Les Paul Jr. Yeah, they got some, I've heard these Pacificas are good. Again, I don't know much about them. I don't know if some are good and some aren't good. So I guess we're going to stick, you know, stay away from that. We're going to be safe here. Play it a little safe. Even though somebody gave me this gift card, I still want to spend it wisely. Get the most I can out of it, you know? We got a Johnson. We got the Ibanez Geo. So 120 for an Ibanez Geo here. But we still have this grg20 that's a front runner for sure 70 bucks that's a front runner might end up going with that one and another, two guitars that's what i would like to do is two donner i've never heard of donner 
Oh, this brand, Mar, Mahar. I actually have one of their guitars out in the shop. It's one that I bought for pretty cheap, and it's a Flying V with single humbucker that I'm rebuilding just for fun. I've never seen another Mar. Mahar. I don't know what it's called. Donner. The Donner Party. <laughs> There's another GRG series, but this is a 722, 7221. Is that a seven string? That one's pretty nice. It's got a maple neck. Ah, See, what's up with that? How come some of these are not available or whatever? I mean, if they're sold, that's fine, but take them off your website. Get them off this list. We've got a Dean over here. we got a Mitchell. I don't know Mitchell. A couple Mitchells. Another Dean, like Les Paul style. Miscellaneous part caster. Man, you got to show us pictures because that could be interesting. What if it's got like a war moth neck on it? Hmm. A Lotus Strat style. We got a Groat. Used Washburn Kirk Hammett. What are you talking about, Kirk Hammett? How is that a, a Kirk Hammett Washburn? What? Anybody ever see one of these before? It does say Kirk Hammond on the headstock. It's got a signature. Oh, we can zoom. Okay, let's look at this. Kirk Hammett Student Series. I've heard of something like this, but w he doesn't use Washburn. I don't know what that is. Is that like some Made in China knockoff? A used Squire for 129 We got the... This thing looks kind of interesting. A Washburn Maverick. Interesting looking, but again, if I don't know what it is, I'm not going to take a, a risk on it. Squire used California Classic. I like that maple neck, but it's not even a Squire, so I don't know what that thing is. Look at all these guitars. Hey, what happened? It just switched us back to all matches, you know, not sorted. So what were we on? Page five, I think. Yeah, those Davisons are interesting. Look at that. What I what I see in these guitars when I look at them, like a guitar like this, is that's potential. Like it's got a maple neck, which is very cool for the 80s shred style guitars that I like to rebuild. It's got a single humbucker, so I don't need to do any neck fills or anything like that, or neck pickup fills. But it's got a hard tail, that's cool. I'm cool, I'm down with that, but covered in stickers on the back that's cool that's actually it actually looks pretty cool got the starbucks sticker drink some coffee to that i see a um a mario sticker on there now this if i was a newer builder this is something i would pick up because that's pretty cool this washburn's interesting that's a weird body shape oh here we do have a 130 bucks for a seven string Jackson JS227. A used Stedman. What is that paint job? Let's check that thing. Whoa, what is this thing? Oh, it's a Hofner travel guitar, $130. Yeah, this thing is pretty cool. It's got that Chris Broderick style to it. Yeah, that's, I mean, 130 bucks. That's going to eat up most of the budget, though. Got it. Let's, let's keep it in there. I'm almost tempted to ask you guys what you guys think I should pick up from this lot. And maybe I'll grab what you guys think I should do. <laughs> Look at that thing. The bridge is like touching the pickup. 24 frets. Interesting, but no, we're not doing that one. Ooh, this is a nice little Les Paul knockoff for 130 bucks. Let's check it out. Let's see what this thing's all about. Again, look how close that bridge is to the pickup. That looks so funny. That thing's actually pretty cool. It's got the knockoff Gibson style headstock. Not gonna do it, not doing it, but very cool. What's this, Fret Light 5? I don't know what that is. Ooh, here's a um, some unique Squires. These I'm tempted to, to grab because that's something I would like to rebuild. I don't love, eh, maybe the rosewood fretboard's fine. I was going to say, I don't love the rosewood fretboard. But, you know, depending what paint job I put on it, 
that would probably work pretty good. So if, what's the difference? These are both bullet Mustang. That's a bullet Mustang HH. These are probably all the exact same model. Might do one of those. Dean Playmate. Used Epiphone Les Paul Special 2. I'm going to look a couple of these guitars up. Whatever I end up finding as my front runners, things I would actually like to pick up. The MH17 7 string, that's cool. But 140, like I said, it's going to eat up pretty much our whole budget. This is interesting. I've never rebuilt an Epiphone or a Gibson Les Paul. HH, it's a special model. It's got black hardware, so I'd be able to reuse some of that hardware if I refinish it. And it doesn't have a pick guard, which I like, because that takes up real estate for the paint job. And I like the idea of no pick guard on it, so I can put some sick paint job on it. It's going to take up the whole face of the guitar. So even though that's the whole budget right there, $140, we're going to keep that one open. I'm, I'm definitely interested in that one. Okay, so we got a used Viper. We got an Ibanez, another Ibanez. Hmm. Epiphone Les Paul, PV Pre uh, Predator. Oh, see, if I was doing it shopping for myself, this would be something, like, if I was a newer guitar player, I don't know why that, that color combo, that speaks to me. I like that one. But we're not going to do it because for a Squire, you know, I can pick those up locally cheap. I actually just saw one pretty cheap here in my local, uh, my city here, that I was thinking about picking up. It was like a 90s with a maple neck even. Interested in this one. Let's just check it out. Cool paint job. It's got like the kind of like a transparent finish with a burst. Actually, it looks like a burst job that I did on a Haxon a couple years ago. $145. Not going to do it, but it is cool. Now we're getting up to, yeah, obviously, $150. We're coming up on that $150 mark. And there's a lot of guitars at this price range. Wow. For newer builders that are looking for guitars to buy and flip, $150 for a starting cost of a guitar is pretty good. A JS-22, we got a Washburn X, I don't know much about that. This Firefly is interesting, it's a Telecaster copy. A Jam Stick, you guys ever see these things? I think this is a MIDI guitar. <laughs> Look at that thing, or is that just some type of travel guitar? They don't really do descriptions. Oh, this is a MIDI controller, micro USB and three and a half millimeter connections. These are pretty cool, but I'm not doing that right now. You can like actually run that through an Axe FX or some type of MIDI controller and like play different instruments through them, which sounds really cool. So we got Johnson's, we got Pacifica's, we got Squire's, used Squire Bullet, Telecaster. I haven't rebuilt a... Uh, a traditional Telecaster. I am actually working on a Tele right now. Schecter, we got Ibanez, more Lotus and First Acts. Vinci, never heard of a Vinci. There's a lot of weird little off-brand guitars here. Yeah, but now we're at the $150 mark, so you know what we're going to do also? Let's flip the script at the end of this and look at the highest price guitars that they sell. We got another Esteban, we got a Keith Urban. <laughs> Keith Urban. I think he's a country artist. I'm gonna guess he's not too popular within this this audience here. So there's a lot of the same guitars over and over. These Ibanez GRG series, which this one looks like it's pretty cool. Got Les Paul specials, we got Pacificas. We're just, oh, that one looks, see, this one, this is like another level. That's like, a, we stepped up in quality. That looks like it's a bit nicer than the rest of these. Yeah, that one is pretty nice looking for an Epiphone. What is that? That's not a slash. Modern humbucking pickups. Kind of looks like a slash style, but nah. Oh, it is. Look at that. It's like 155 for a slash Epiphone. We'll leave that one open. That's interesting. Harley Benton. I've never tried a Harley Benton. It'd be interesting to get one of those in here and work on it and flip it. Maple neck. It's got a pearloid pick guard. Ooh, the neck even looks like it has a little character to it. I've heard these are good gu guitars. Let me know what you guys think of that one. Ooh, a JS32 Rhodes. I like that. As Garth Brooks would say. 
I like that. <laughs> if you guys know that reference, let me know in the comments. <laughs> a hammer slammer. I actually rebuilt one of these for somebody before for my shop assistant Ryan. He had one of those. It was his first guitar ever. He donated it to the shop and I rebuilt it for him as a surprise. Gave it back to him for Christmas. Telecaster, that, that Squire Telecaster down there is interesting. Not going to do it, I don't think, but yeah, we're getting over the budget here. But if something really awesome is in, you know, within, let's go up to like maybe 200 bucks. Kramer Beretta solid body electric guitar. So that's very cool, very interesting. That would be awesome. But I am working on one right now. How much do those cost new? Let's check that out real quick. Kramer Beretta Special. Oh, so those are 200. I thought they were 179. Here's one for 179. Who's uh is this one used or brand new? Back in stock. So they were out of stock for a while. You can get them in all these different colors. Yeah, we got one of those in the shop right now, and then we got the 1984, which is the Floyd Rose, the higher quality one, in black in the shop too. I know people, a lot of people who have these who love these things. Is this thing new or used? Yeah, because I always thought they were $179. But then here I'm seeing $200 from like Sweetwater and from American Musical. This is American Musical also though. So why is this one $199? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like everybody's six ninety nine. There's that nineteen eighty four. So one seventy nine to one ninety nine approximately. Yeah, that's something I'd be interested in picking up. But we'll go back. I think I want to get two guitars instead of just one. Nothing is jumping out at me. This Ibanez seven string is pretty cool. But you know the thing with like seven strings and even left handed guitars. You're really cutting off a lot of people there because so many more people would want a six-string guitar. A six-string right-handed one at that. So I know that I can hit a much bigger target of people who would want it if I go with the six-string right-handed one. So that's what we're going to probably keep this at. And people always say, why don't you work on more basses and lefty guitars and whatnot. And it's really because... I'll work on anything that's sent in to me. I'm happy to build, rebuild lefties. I've got, I think, two lefties in the shop right now. But when I'm going to rebuild a guitar to sell, I don't want to limit my, my scope of people who are willing to buy the guitar. Because if they're, it's hard enough to sell guitar, custom guitars anyways. I mean, some of them sit around for two months. The F200 sat here for three or four months. I've had a couple sit around for a couple months. They always end up selling, but there's even a Jackson that did sell right off the bat. Look at this. This one. Ah, this this music man or this Sterling down here comes with a, uh, a licensed tremolo, Floyd Rose style tremolo. Uh, that would have been you know 195 bucks. I would have thrown in the other 50 bucks for that. Same with this Jackson JS 32T. How much do those go for actually? Let's. How much are they new? Jackson JS 32T Rhodes. Because another thing I'm looking at here is value. I want to get the most value I can out of this $150 gift certificate. So I don't want to buy a used guitar like the Kramer that's only $10 off the, the brand new price. If I can just buy one for $10 more that's brand new, why would I buy a used one? Even if it's in great condition. Like I don't want to buy something that someone else's hands have been on if I don't have to. So it looks like they're about 300 and This one's 370 This one's 310 so why is why why are they different prices? If usually musicians friend guitar center zounds is it Z zounds? Uh, usually all these people are competing pretty heavily with each other. So usually you get the same prices across across all the different places, but somewhere in the three hundred dollars range. So a hundred bucks off for the uh, for this JS thirty two T. That's decent. That's not a bad deal. One other thing is I don't know if I'm going to have to pay shipping on these. 
Sometimes they offer free shipping, but for the used ones, they might not. It might be shipped to store for free, which whatever, I'll go out and pick it up if that's what I gotta do. Loading. Ding. That was a low ding. <laughs> that was a bad joke. That's what I, whenever I think of the word loading, I always think of that. A Nuno Betancourt for $199? Probably page doesn't exist. Oh no, that's still there. That one's pretty, pretty awesome. $50 over the budget. Jay Terser Wolfgang. I've seen those things around before. Where'd it go? That's not quite right, though. That doesn't look like a 100% like a Wolfgang. That's pretty weird looking. Okay, so nothing else is really jumping off the page at me. What is this weird thing? What the heck is that thing? Not getting that. Interesting though, pretty cool. Oh, that's a cool solid body electric guitar. That's interesting too. I mean, these are not solid body electric guitars. Aria, STG, with the floating trim, $199. That's pretty cool, STG series, actually stage series. I've seen these before. Never used one though. I think I actually made a headstock logo for somebody who has one of those. Okay, so the $200 mark, I'm not seeing anything crazy. Sometimes you'll find some crazy stuff like a Korean made LTD M100 for 199 bucks somewhere. Dang, Les Paul Studio LT, that's pretty sweet. If I was just buying, like I said, for myself and I was at the, the place where I was buying $200 guitars to add to my collection, I, would, I think if I was looking, that's, that's something I'd buy. 200 bucks for a sweet little Les Paul. See, look at this. Okay, so it's got some mods, but 200 bucks for this Kramer. Looks like it's got an aftermarket pickup of some type. It's got a pink knob, a weird uh, pickup ring. What kind of pickup is that? That's not a Fishman, is it? There's a weird line on it. I can't tell. The worst pictures ever. Yeah, there's no details either to it either, is there? Nope. Got some Yamahas. We got another Keith Urban. Okay. So we're just over 200 bucks here. We'll make this the last page we look at. Then let's see what the most expensive guitars are. Ooh, Stage Master. Those are cool. 220 though. I don't want to drop 70 extra. Yeah, I'm leaning towards buying two guitars. So let's go back up here now and let's look at highest to low. Dang, 38 grand. I mean, it is a 1955 Stratocaster. Let's check that out. Watch, they don't even have any pic good pictures of it. They should have a ton of pictures. For something like this. Wow, that is crazy. Offhand, I can't remember. What is the first year of Stratocasters? I want to say the first Telecasters. I think Tellys came first. Um, the first Telecasters, I think, were like 1947. First electric guitar Fender. Let's just type in Fender. 1950, they introduced the first mass-produced solid-body electric guitar, the Telecaster. Um, but Fender was found, founded, always felt wrong to say it that way, 1946. The first Fender guitar. Let's check this out real quick. So that's it? With that weird headstock? Cool. 25 and a half inch scale. 1949, the first Fender guitar. Wow, that's cool. I don't feel like reading that though. <laughs> what else do we have here? A brief fist, uh, <laughs> I meant history of Fender guitars. So that's Leo Fender there. Actually, I do not recognize him from that photo. I did not know that's what he looked like. Is that crazy or what? A radio repairman. He started his his career. What was the first 
the Esquire arrived in 1950. Okay, for some reason I thought it was 1947. 51, a double pickup version would arrive. Okay, well, so it was around 1947 to 1950, whereas when they started making guitars, wow. So this is one of, you know, within seven years or something or less of them making electric guitars. How crazy. And they already looked like this, like, look at the tuners on it. Look at the pick guard. Like, this is still what they look like today. How crazy is that? That the Stratocaster. I mean, I'm sure it's evolved, but they already, the you know, the frets, everything. They're pretty much doing it how they do it today. Awesome. So thirty-two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars for the Gibson 1953. Wow. We got a 1964 ES335. A 64 Firebird V solid body electric guitar. 20 grand. Oh, that's a 2021 model, though. I don't really honestly care about that. The reissue stuff is cool, but it's completely a different category than the real vintage stuff. I'm not really into vintage myself. Of course, I'm not into reissue really either. I like real stuff. I like, you know, even when it comes to like anything else, video games and cars. I like real old school stuff, and with old cars though, it's a different ball game because you don't want to be driving it around. It's something with like, you know, an engine that's unreliable and brakes that are horrible. I, I like luxury, so I like the um, when they like swap in like an LS three motor into like a old car, and they put like uh, four wheel disc brakes, air conditioning, power windows, keyless entry. I mean, I like all that kind of stuff. I don't want to. I've had old cars. I've had an old carbureted Chevy Blazer from the 70s that, you know, you had to put your key in to unlock the door every time. And you had to crank the windows down to, un to roll the windows down. And well, there's something very nostalgic about that and cool. It's also when you drive around a car like that every day and it's backfiring on you, you got to let it warm up for like 10 minutes before you drive it down the street. It can stall. It breaks down on you. Uh, you get over it. But then when you don't have it anymore, like I sold my Blazer, I miss that thing now. Lots of cool Gibson Flying Vs in here. By the way, my dad rebuilds old cars, so I've had, you know, that's not what he drives daily. He has nice cars, nice newer vehicles, but he has like old 50s and 60s Chevys and Camaro, or, or uh, he has built, rebuilt a Camaro, but Corvettes and 50s, 55, 56, 57 Chevys and Chevelles. He recently started building his first, what do they call it, Pro Touring, where you like put all modern stuff in it, um, uh, a 66 Chevelle, and it is sick. It's got the Corvette motor in it, or it's actually got a 2012 Camaro motor and drivetrain, transmission and everything. So it's, that's a sick car. But he also still has his numbers matching all original 60s Corvettes, a, 60, a 65 and a 69. Yeah, some really cool guitars up in... You know, the $30,000 up. What is this thing? It's cut, clapped and cut, solid body. I don't really know this Explorer. Oh! James Hetfield would be pissed if he saw this. Oh, God. Get it off my screen right now. What is that? Is that original? If it's original, that's cool. If somebody cut that guitar, you stay off, stay out of my life, whoever did that. Oh, look at it. Kiesel Zeus, seven string black solid body electric guitar, $3,800. That's pretty cool. We got some PRSs. Okay, so some interesting stuff. Jackson 2021, $3,700. Dang, how much was that brand new? You guys know I'm looking for ESPs and stuff in here. Any cool ESPs? Love those Jacksons. Okay, so enough of this. So I think we found, we got it narrowed down. So we have a couple here. Oh, what, that one we can't look at. Dang, that sucks. Uh, we got a Washburn here for 200 bucks. The Nuno Betancourt, you think I should get this one? Like I said, let me know in the comments your guys' thoughts on this. I was gonna actually buy the guitars today, but I wanna hear your guys' input on this. So. I'll wait till Sunday afternoon or Monday to, to do some purchasing. 
And I hope people don't go out and just buy all the cool ones that I found. But if you do, whatever. That's fine. If you beat me to it, that's cool. 160 bucks for this one. It's a Jackson JS32T Rhodes. You guys know I love Rhodes. That'd be a fun one for a rebuild. But then again, that means, you know, I'm not going to be giving it away for a few months because it takes a while to rebuild a guitar like that. So maybe that one. It's just over budget. That's fine. We've got the Harley Benton. Should it be the Harley Benton? $159. And if any of you guys want to help donate to the shop and you want to go on there, jump on there and buy one of these or donate some money to the channel, send me an email, mark at guitarguts.com or even PayPal me. Just throw some money at me. <laughs> Um, PayPal, mark at guitarguts.com and let me know what you want me to buy with that money and I'll buy something and do a giveaway or do some type of, you know, rebuild and then give it away. But yeah, if you guys want to throw in some money for some giveaway stuff, I'd be totally down with that. Epiphone Les Paul, that's the slash one, $155. I mean, we could go with that one. That's pretty cool. Although the top one, that's cool enough that I, why, why repaint that one? I'd rather do, you know, some cool projects. This one was really cool, but it's most of the budget, too. 140 The Epiphone Special. I like that one. The Squire Mustang. So how much do these things cost new? Like I said, we're going for good value here. So let's find out real quick. If I Google that, what do we find? They're about 180 new. So why would I want to buy a used one for, what is it? Where'd it go? 135. They're 180. So it's like 50 bucks off. Uh, I think we're going to skip on that one. Not, not enough value. What about for this Nuno Betancourt here? Washburn, Washburn. It's an N1. Nuno Betancourt N1. What does something like that go for new? Oh, you can get them for 120 bucks. 225 on reverb. 300, that's used. I don't see any new, so they don't they don't sell these anymore. So it's about a $200 guitar. They're selling it for 200, so that's a fair price. We call that. Oh yeah, I wanted to look at this. What is this? Stedman? Isn't that a Oprah's boyfriend? Oh, that's a, a home paint job with lots of paint bleed on the tape stripes. Yeah, I definitely don't want to buy that. I was just interested in seeing what that was. 115 for this one. That leaves us with $35 left over. I'm definitely interested in that. Yeah, I think I'm going to scrap the seven string. We'll get that out of here. The SG is cool. This one's cool. That leaves, with, leaves us with 50 bucks left over, and I could even get... That affordable, that very cheap uh, mini Strat. Oh, there is a weird, it looks like there is a weird, no, they're, they took the pick guard off, so that's what this is. I see the screws are still in there. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. I thought for a second there was a clear pick guard over it. Okay, so this, that's cool. We can make a metal machine out of that for, for $95. But for $10 less, I would rather go with this. That thing is cool too. I like, so this, I think this is my favorite one so far. I mean, when you look at price and what you're getting for the money, I think the value, I think this is the best value, this EC10. Because, you know, um, that, that's like $65 left over. And what do we find that's around that price here? Product images. I mean, we can go with like a Rockmaster. We can go with an Ibanez, we can go with the Squire Bullet, and the EC10. I'd be down with that, just to throw a couple bucks in on top, get the Squire Bullet. The Micro is cool. What would you guys do? Let me know. What, which one would you want to win if I did a giveaway for one of these? 70 bucks for the, the Rockmaster. I'm guessing we're gonna probably not going to vote for the Rockmaster. They're cool, but I think out of all the stuff here, the value is better on some of these other ones. Like this Ibanez here, $70. Yeah, see, I think I think if it was me, I would go with the Ibanez if I was going to buy them for myself and I'm trying to build a guitar collection. The Ibanez and the LTD, we got a couple of awesome metal guitars there. 
And yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. What do you guys think? I think that's going to do it for this week's episode. So I want to get some feedback from you guys. Maybe Monday morning I'm going to come back, tally up the results, and I'm kind of debating. Maybe I should just pull the trigger on this. I'm thinking hard hard about this. Um, Because this guitar is cool. 24 frets. It's an Eclipse. It's already got black hardware. I mean, these used guitars, there's a good chance the hardware is pretty shot. Might have to replace a bunch of it anyways, so. I'm just thinking if this one sells in the next couple days and that's what we vote for, then I'm going to be kicking myself for not grabbing it right now. Hmm. I don't know. Let me know, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Yeah, I'm, I'm leaning towards the Ibanez and the LTD. So, I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, go check out GuitarGuts.com. Go grab your Crackle coasters. I even use them here on my desk here. Um, they're baby onesies, Sunday morning shred shirts, all that stuff. It helps support the channel. Go sign up to the Patreon or the YouTube members. You can go to GuitarGuts, no, YouTube.com slash GuitarGuts slash join. I'm pretty sure I got that right. I'll put links to all this stuff down in the description for this video. But you guys know I appreciate you watching, and I will talk to you very soon in the next Trash to Thrash. We're going to have new episodes of Trash to Thrash, by the way, coming soon. I don't know if you guys noticed, but my hair is looking fresh. And you know what that means. That means I'm getting ready to record some new some high quality content for you. I haven't cut my hair in months and last time I did was I think the beginning of Trash to Thrash season four. But I have a few guitars that I've finished. I got a ton of footage here on my computer that I'm gonna cut that, cut into some episodes. And I think what I'm gonna do is a, like a three part series that I'm gonna post maybe on like a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday and have like a week long little mini event for one of these next uh, episodes or series. So that it's not just a 20 minute episode, we can break it down into a couple more digestible chunks and also get you guys coming back on the channel multiple times in a week to kind of bump the channel back up because since I've not been posting Trash to Thrash episodes, then my numbers have dropped, the algorithm has completely written me off and we need to get those numbers back up. So I think that's a good way to do it. Maybe as soon as tomorrow on the channel, on the main channel, we might have some new episodes of Trash to Thrash mini-series. Um, it's going to be like a Frankenstrat stealth with alien blood splatter and a clear pick guard. Fishman pickups, I'm pretty sure we put in that one. Really sick guitar. I've finished up a couple guitars. A lot of them have been somewhat similar to builds I've done in the past, so that's why they've been like Patreon exclusive and YouTube member exclusive. But if you sign up to the member, YouTube member or the Patreon, I already have like a three-part series I just recently did about the Alien Blood Roads number two that I just finished up about a month ago, and the OLP MM1 guitar, and I, I got a Jackson King V that's up on the website for sale right now where you can choose your own pickups and bridge and kind of work it into your budget. You can get it for as little as 850 bucks, and I think it goes up to like 1200 or so. I'm going to make that into some type of mini-series as well. I'm noticing you guys did not enjoy the Hot Days vlog series, so I don't know why. It's great content in my opinion, but go check that out if you haven't. It's me working on a ton of guitars and rebuilding stuff, and yeah. Go check it out. I would really appreciate it. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you very soon. Let me know which guitars you want me to buy and rebuild and give away and maybe flip one of them. We'll see. I'll talk to you soon. Rock on, my friends.